Wah, wah, wah. You know how to do that. Anyways, hey guys, look what came in the mail today. Super excited. Honestly, I haven't really watched no more than like the first five episodes of the whole series. So, um, if this guy has showed up in the episode yet, I am totally clueless to who he is. Neither, neither, neither to let. Anyways, <laughs> um, I don't care because when I first seen promotional material for this guy, I was like, oh my gosh, a cowboy robot. I have to get him, right? Six, six steps, not bad. Brown car, kind of cool. Um, I wasn't really digging the Energon, like, gimmick for bigger guys, but this is kind of cool because it looks like he's about to rob a train, and it helps that he is a Decepticon. So, anyways, uh, the armor's kind of cool. I just, if they just gave him, like, a bandana, that'd be pretty cool. Has two guns and a hat. So, here he is in the package. Has two guns, and then, like, right here's one of those little things that clip on right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh gosh, I want to say he reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty uh, BA, to be honest. Um, never was really a Western fan. Um, my dad's dad, my grandpa, on my dad's side of the family, um, I remember he was always watching uh, Westerns, or they were in the background, or there's a bunch of tapes and stuff. And... So, that's cool. Okay, now, here's the thing. I didn't know this was a battle call thing. And it says, voice activated play. Okay. So, does it need batteries, or does it have batteries? Because if it has batteries, I might have to make a, um, a different video. Because I would have to run out to still get batteries. So, anyways. Alright, so here he is. Let's get our close-up so you could see exactly... Who this guy is. <laughs> Look at him. Varen Von Yeeha. <laughs> um, ammo belt's kind of cool. Reminds me of <laughs> Chewbacca. And it doesn't help that he's mostly brown too. <laughs> so his feet are just molded in. Wheels spin. Wheels. Ooh. For a second there I thought that was rubber. I was like what? And here's his back. Uh, got the kibble hanging off the end. For some people, that's uh, a plus or a minus. Well, not really a plus, just a minus. Actually, that kind of looks cool right there. Kind of go body, actually, like that. So let's just leave it down right there. So he's supposed to light up. And I don't know if you say something yet. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to crack this whole case open to check the instructions to see what you have to do to this battle call. So anyways, here's his two little Energon pistols, which I think are pretty cool. If I could get them out. I'm trying to get everything out without opening the box. But you know what? I guess I'm going to have to open the box. So you know, that's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. At all. Because with this kind of guy, I feel like, well for me personally, he's a kind of one in, one out kind of a deal. Uh, one out for display. So he like looks super cool with all the other figures. Regardless if you're getting more Cyberverse or not. And one in box. Because he's just so unique. And me personally, I love getting doubles of unique bots. Mm, is it for the value? Kind of. Is it for bragging rights? Most definitely. <laughs> uh, the value thing, I don't know, maybe I said it in some other videos. Um, that when my kids, I got two, graduate college. I don't care what degree they get. Ah! Or what level of degrees they get um, once they reach a graduation level of college and they'll be like, okay guys do you want a house or a car? if you do oh, gosh he's in there, point point like a dagger, like a muscle man um I'm gonna be like, okay guys you can either sell my collection or um I could keep on collecting, then you guys inherit it, or whatever the case may be. And if they want something now, and, you know, I don't want to, like, use their savings or whatever, I'll just cash in um, 
all my toys that I have bought. Um, I'm going to keep the ones that mean something to me. But the ones I just bought for, you know, my hobby, I'm going to, um, you know. So anyways, here's the part we've all been waiting for, honestly. Is to put a cowboy hat on a Transformer. So check this out. Get it close. <laughs> Look at him. That's awesome. <laughs> that you, John Wayne. <laughs> so uh, let's throw his Energon pistols in his hands. So his hands are kind of just molded in. You know, whatever. It's Cyberverse. It's for kids. But you know, um, I'm not putting this video on kid mode. So everyone that's going to be watching this is going to be adults mostly. So, or older kids. Do you feel lucky, punk? Do you? Um, <laughs> so anyways, you know, most of us are older watching this. And, you know, some of you might have watched westerns with your parents growing up. Or watch them now. Totally forgot what I was saying. Uh, my little girl came in. She's playing outside with her brother and the wife. And I'm like, yes, what do you want? I'm filming her. So, anyways. <laughs> that's cool. Give me all your money. Give me your pocket watch, too. Yeah, that's right. This is a stagecoach robbery. <laughs> I can't. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So, anyways. His little Energon ar armor. Ugh, Energon armor looks pretty darn cool. So, um, you know what? Let's see. The instructions okay so does it require three batteries oh my gosh so this is important it looks like it requires three batteries does it okay so does that mean it requires it or it's in there and you just gotta like open it up anyways so here's the batteries a76 dash or 44 you need the three of them oh my gosh so i'm gonna pause this quick and i'm gonna go get my mini screwdriver <sighs> sorry for the uh fat guy breathing i'm recording on my phone <sighs> and the um shh pupper shh, shh, shh. um i had to run try to find my screwdriver before my uh phone just decided to cut recording i'm trying to do this in one take okay check it out okay so it comes with all the batteries okay so i know this is probably not what you want to um watch on a um video so okay so it comes in there let's screw that back in so, the, the battery part is actually kind of cool looking. It fits the character, like the backing. All right, let's just pop this off right here. Uh, it fits it fits it pretty well. Um, once you pop this off, though, it is hard to kind of get back in. So, that's an FYI for you when you go to change it. Oh. Stupid me, huh? Look at that. <laughs> so it's not hard. You just got to put it in the right way. <sighs> okay. So anyways, screw that back in. And it said the button is right here. So let's pop off his cowboy hat. Okay. So is it on? Alright, so it said switch that. Alright, I'm going to pause this quick, because this video is going like 10 minutes long, and I do apologize. Okay, so there's like no clear-cut instructions on what to do. So it says, like, it says push it forward for like 30 seconds as a reset. Now, do I have to say something show-specific? But it doesn't say, and I just I don't know why. Reset after 30 seconds of inactivity. So is this the right way? Yeehaw! Do I say yeehaw? Transform and rise up. Well, anyways, let's look at the joints. Joints. 
arms are kind of weird. So let's pop off all the Energon bits, right? Oh, I figured this out. Did I put, like, the batteries in the right way? Like, I don't get it. Yeah, Come on, Decepticons! I don't know. Now I'm slightly embarrassed. What are you supposed to be doing? Did I pop it in all the way? Alright, I'm sorry for this, guys. I thought this was going to be a cool and clean and crisp video and... Mm, nope. Oh my gosh. So anyways, they're all in there. I'm, I'm assuming the right way. Oh, maybe not the right way. What? Okay, so... Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. So the only thing I could get him to do... Because I don't know if, like, I'm putting in the battery cover the wrong way. So let me know in the comments um, if I'm doing it wrong. So it's not like... I mean, I think I... And I can see it's, like, popping out right here. I don't know why. So if I press the batteries in, there's a light. And I think the thing responds when you get louder. Louder. Sorry. Oh, earphone warning. Yep. So it kind of brightens or dimmens to what you're saying. So, I mean, that's kind of a cool gimmick. We haven't got um, um, lights, electronics in a while. So, um, this video's gone long enough. I'm sorry. Um, let's get to transformation and get over with, right? Alright. So, I had to get, um, my, um, phone cord. Before the thing died. So, you know, sorry for that super unprofessional video. Um, if you guys sat through the whole thing. <laughs> so, um, this goes here. Flip that up, feed in like so, clip back here, and where does this go? So, uh, tabs go right here. Shh, popper, you're going to make me lose my concentration. As you all know from my ums and ums, <laughs> that I don't concentrate very well. Anyways, then you slide... The arm back. Okay, so that's easy. So check this out. So you put the wheel up front. Oh, that's all I'm doing. I'm not going to follow the instructions. You know I don't do that, right? So that. And then this goes this way. And into his little dedicated slot. And there we go. Yay. Everything actually popped into place on this one. So I'm super happy about that. And of course, you know, that's about cyberverse speed, but it's a kid's thing. Not a lot of people like that. I don't care, because I'm not going to display my transformer like this. I'm going to display it like this in car mode. Most of my transformers are in bots mode. So, um, one quick thing before I leave you guys. There is, like, no place, really, to store his, um... Okay, so, right here. No. Right here. No. So. I was wrong on all accounts. There is no. All these little peg holes are like for like a figure stand. Size are like 3 millimeter. I want to say the weapons are 5 millimeter. That is so weird. Okay, so you could plug his little energon blade things in the front. Or in the back, maybe. Yeah, in the back. Actually, that kind of look cool right there. I like that. Kind of like a little extra small um, wheel jack things. So, yeah, and then you can do that, which is kind of cool, actually. But you got nowhere for the hat. Yeehaw. <laughs> you got nowhere for this, unless it'll... Okay, so... You could... So, with home collectors such as myself, I'm sure you're going to place the spot specifically in um, robot mode. But, 
if his energon energon armor gives him like a little like boost like he's going oh. but so you're gonna be storing his hat his shield and his two guns elsewhere I'm sorry it took 15 minutes to get to that conclusion oh there's a little star in it too that's cool look at that um, but his little blade thingies look pretty neat over there. So, um, what do cowboys say when they go? Yeehaw, get along, good partner. <laughs> oh no, if you made it through this whole video. And, oh hey, there's that little pebble thing. So here's my figure stand. Nope, is that a 2 millimeter port end? I don't know. Anyway, so... If you uh, sat through the whole 16 minutes, thank you. Um, everything just kind of fell apart during that. It looked like the video was going to be super awesome, but then it kind of started going downhill. Had a little interruption. Pupper, which he quite, he listened more than the kid. <laughs> um, oh. No. I thought this right here, do you see that? Would fit the gun. But it's not. So anyways, I'll give you an updated video. Tell me if I did it wrong. Let me know if I did it wrong so I can make a video of doing it right. And then apologize for showing you the wrong way. Cause... But anyways, is he worth uh, $25 on Amazon? Um, yeah, I'd say so for a unique figure like this with a freaking cowboy hat. Definitely. If you got the extra money and you could wait a few days for a delivery truck to go to your house, I'd definitely do it. Anyways, again, now I'm at 17 minutes. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, definitely let me know what you think of the toy in the comments and how badly I screwed up in the comments. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.